folks, David Creative Craft House, to show you a, a new puzzle we call Cat Lovers. I've got kind of this lover series going, wine lovers and dog lovers and now cat lovers, and I've got some ideas from, for some new ones too. Uh, this is all our original artwork and it's all done at our um, Florida shop. Uh, and here we have uh, 11 different cats, and there's in, they're in various different poses too. I also threw in a, a little mouse guy here. Okay. Uh, your goal is to tank these cats and put them in the frame. You'll have a nice um, beach frame here with a base, and they'll also come with a cover. See, uh, it, as it comes packaged, you'll see the pieces exposed, sitting sitting in the cover. And on the cover, I have laser engraved um, the title of the puzzle, and it'll hold the pieces nice and securely. It's a it's a difficult puzzle. Um, the you, you may not think so, but the, the whole picture frame series tend to be quite difficult, and ones like this that are very complex with quite a few pieces are especially so. Uh, you you can start to put pieces in, and you may get them all in, but say one or two, and you may think you're close, uh, but in fact you may have every piece wrong. So you just kind of have to start over and try again. Um, kids do like this. Um, Although they'll, they, they, they solving on their own is um, pretty high expectations, but they, just being able to memorize and repeat the process is actually quite healthy. Um, I, I would say realistically, ages uh, eight and up in this is, is probably best. There's some small pieces, so three and under we don't recommend, of course. Uh, the wood itself um, is a quarter inch thick, uh, quite strong. The long, thin pieces I do try to cut with the grain to give them as much strength as possible. Uh, they're nicely finished. Um, they, they're they are laser cut, so they're very precise. Um, the details are etched in there, as you can see in this guy. Um, and the nice little uh, thin uh, uh, lacquer finish here, too, so that they uh, won't get uh, dirty quickly. Uh, let's see here. I do mix up the woods too. Uh, the, you, everyone will have at least four different woods, and could have seven or eight. Uh, and everyone will be a little different because we'll mix up the woods. Here's, you know, here's one view of a puzzle, and here's a, another view where I think almost every piece is a different wood. Um, the types of woods that uh, you might encounter here, we've got uh, mahogany, and this is a cherry, a maple, an alder, beetle kill pine, this is an oak, this is a, a red grandis, another cherry, alder. Um, and, and in addition to that, there could be, um, let's see, ash or birch, um, walnut, probably a few others I can't think of. Whatever I run across and, and, and can use, um, maybe in the puzzle. Um, it measures about seven inches. Um, within the frame, it's about six inches. And sitting in the cover, it's about seven inches square. Okay, and as I said, cover will hold everything securely once it's solved. It will come with a, a pic picture of the solution, so um, if you get stuck, uh, you can always get it back in. It's pretty fussy, though. I mean, if you, as you, even with the solution, if you get an angle off slightly in one of the pieces, you may have trouble getting the last piece in, and you can't figure out what you did wrong. It's because there just is not a lot of wiggle room in here. They're, they are precision cut, and they, they just fit. So you got to work at the solution. I hope it's something you'll enjoy. It's, it's very unusual, and uh, I certainly had fun making it.